you guys are struggling right now, you can't do a lot of business as a real estate agent, try doing rentals. They're so easy to do. You just saw me do three calls in a row, three clients. One of them wanted to do an Airbnb at like seven, $8,000 per month. I make over four grand commission if they do an $8,000 place. And he wants multiple. That's a lot of commission for a realtor just doing rentals. Hey guys, it's Andy Coleman and I'm gonna do some live lead calls again. I do a lot of videos about getting the leads and this is how I talk to the leads part number two. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through my phone and basically call the last three people that reached out to me and just do live calls. Okay, so this guy texted me and wants to do Airbnb, so I'm gonna give him a call. Hey, Sev, it's Andy Coleman, how you doing? Very, very good. So I got your text and saw that you wanted to do Airbnb and you didn't have a realtor, so yeah, I would be more than happy to help you out. Sure, sounds good. Awesome, well, awesome. We're looking for. We need four bedrooms and uh, minimum four bedrooms, minimum three baths, half to have a pool, uh, close to the beach, and uh, anywhere from Fort Lauderdale all the way down to Miami. Okay, cool. So you, I just want to make this clear. So you want to do Airbnb arbitrage, basically you want to rent the properties out and then you want to get tenants in there and then, you know, kind of pay the landlord's rent and then charge whatever, you know, per night for Airbnb. Yeah, we just going to do a lease, a direct lease with, with the landlord. Yeah, I'm actually an expert in doing Airbnb arbitrage. I have a ton of clients who do Airbnb right now. So yeah, it's actually very easy. You know, a lot of realtors uh, don't like doing it, but I have a whole entire system and process down, which I'm sure you're familiar with how the Airbnb process works, but I make it very easy from like a realtor perspective great great to hear awesome okay yeah very good <laughs> um okay I'm not limited to one like i can i can keep going so oh. we're active in colombia in Cartagena, colombia and we're all active in toronto i want to get to the u.s market starting with florida so really um i think it's a great market i was there a couple weeks ago doing research and we're ready to rock and roll so just let me know if you find something that you know if you want to start sending me listings and i'm very quick like if i, if I see i like i'm also a broker in toronto by the way real estate oh so awesome I, see, if, I respect your time i get what yeah. you're doing i appreciate it you're not getting paid hourly. I'm not going to waste your time. If we see something that checks all the boxes, we're going to make an offer. So, and right away, we're that's, not waiting and not sleeping on it. We're going to move fast. That's that's so, that's amazing. That's that's exactly how I work as well. I like to move very quick because these properties yeah. go very fast. So, and you want to do multiple properties, like well, I guess like one a month or something. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. You want to do multiple Airbnbs? All right. So yeah, let me get this set up now for you. So, all right. I know you want to be around what, like uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. Yep. Yeah from Fort Lauderdale all the way down to Miami. I'll tell you what, so, cause I have clients who do this and they have properties in Miami and they do very well, especially around Lighthouse Point. So let me set you up yep. uh, for that area. But what I'm gonna okay. do is I'm gonna segment them out. I'm gonna do two separate searches, one for condos, because as you know, 98% of condos do not accept this. If they have an HOA, they're not gonna do it. Um, so it's very, very rare. But let me separate them between single families with no HOAs, which 100% will work, except for Boca, which we won't okay. go that far. For the single families, you only want a private pool, correct? Yes. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, you, obviously you already know that, you know, you'll get a way higher rate for Airbnb if you do a private pool. It has to be a private pool. Has yeah. to be a private pool. And then, so only furnished or can it also be unfurnished and you'll furnish it? No, no, either. No, no, either sure. or. Either gotcha. Either. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. let me do that. If it's furnished, I'd consider less. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. I don't require as much of a capital expense up front. You'll save so at least 10, fine. 15 grand. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. I completely yeah, understand I, that. Yeah. All right, so let me do that. Do four bedroom, two bathroom, but it's got to be four bedroom. Minimum bedroom four. Studio. Got it. And then, oh, square yeah. feet then. How? What's the minimum again, square listen, feet? Again, again, listen, if you say to me, Sev, I found a beautiful three bedroom. It's stunning. I say, sure, man, let's do it. Because if it's stunning, I'm, I can still get a high price per night. The idea is to get a high price per night, right? I don't want to, you know, I don't want cheap products, right? If you find a spectacular three bedroom, okay. I don't want to be closed minded. I just got it. Know, want you to keep sending me three bedrooms and then I keep saying no to them. If they're right? not nice, yeah. All right, and so. Then I'm, then, I'm the, then I'm the no client. I'm yeah. not a no client. I'm no. just looking for the right kind you of You just product. want the right yeah. ones, which is fine. So, uh, all right, so then I'll do three minimum and then square feet. What's the minimum size that you want? Yeah, I'm not particular about size. I mean, it has to be, uh, it has to look and feel nice, you know, like from a, from the guest standpoint. Yeah, I, w I would say then right? 1400 the minimum. The yeah. If it's too small, it's not going to look nice. Oh, yeah. I was going to probably say 2000 but Oh, jeez. Again, <laughs> that's bad. Again, like For I, South I, Florida, that's I, big. Florida's that's big. Bit, yeah, exactly. Florida's a bit of it's a different market, right? So I leave it to your discretion. I'll go I, a little higher then. I'll tell discretion. you what. Yeah, I'll tell you what. So I won't waste your time with, like, you know, BS property. So let me do, uh, I'll do 1,600 square feet minimum this way. Because that, that leaves a decent amount. There's 90 listings that fit this criteria still. So that's a good amount. Sure. Great. Awesome. And then price wise, you said what what was the price? Um well I'd like to stay under seven thousand. Again, if it's it. spectacular, um 
different story, right? If it's a six bedroom or a seven bedroom, you know, you never know, right? Um, so it's all relative to the to the, what I'm getting and how much how much I can charge for a night. Got but it. All that's always based on revenue, right? So yes. I'm always looking at okay, but I can charge per bedroom, and then I kind of look at the features. I come up with a price. I work backwards. I go with an occupancy of let's say fifty percent. I bang that out fifteen times that number, and then I see what my number looks like. Obviously, we do better certain times yeah. of the year, right? And, In and season, so out of season, my break even looks like yeah, yeah. exactly because there's, yeah. there's some some weaker months. There's some there is. some way better months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when. Obviously, when we get in season, you know, you're going to do a lot better than out of season. But during the holidays yeah, still, like July 4th, you're still going to do good. So, yeah, it's – it's just, well, you you know. I, I'm already active in Toronto. And exactly. Columbia. Columbia, Catania doesn't really have a slow season. We're pretty busy all year round. Oh, okay. Um, it, Toronto, you know, when the pit of the winter hit, you're just trying to break even, right? And the yeah. And numbers, you're making money. Obviously, in, 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 the, in, in Florida, it's, it's actually the opposite, which is nice. It's the opposite. Touch because summer might slow down a bit, but, uh, you know, winters will be quite busy. Yes, right? yes. And so for, kind of, yeah. Yeah, for your it workload, workload it'll be fine. better for your workload because then you'll be busy all year round, you know, busy in Florida Definitely. in the winter and then not busy in Toronto, you know, in the summer. So, that, all it. right, that's that's good. So, it. okay, let me save this now and let me send them all over to you. Probably going to look better after they've given it to me and when I give it back to them than when they, you know, when it starts, right? So, yeah. Um, it's going to be in better condition just because you have to have good reviews so you can't have a property have that's in bad have, condition. Yeah, well, guess what? Stay in a shitty property. So I always approve yeah. these properties, right? Wow. And I think that some of the, the, big, the big question is, well, why would I give it to somebody else? Well, because we're going to make the property look a lot better. It's your yeah. property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I 100%. And we're, going to, and we're going to take very good care of it. we got cleaners coming in and out of there two, three times a week. I'll be able to pitch so, this really good, yeah. actually. I'll be able to pitch this yeah, really like good. The long-term tenants don't do that. They no. They the property like once a month yeah, or right. like ever. This is good. So uh, basically, I just sent them over from the MLS. He'll be coming from Beaches MLS. For myself, Andy Coleman, I'm with the XP Realty, by the way. I think I said that before. Um, yeah, yeah, so oh, you're, you're very welcome. So yeah, go through all of them. You know, Let me know which ones you like. Just text me all the addresses. Obviously, crunch your numbers. Make sure they work first, and then yep. we can start putting offers yep. in. So yep. you're are you going to be in Florida? Do you want me to do virtual showings for you? What do you want me to do? For now, virtual. I can jump on a plane the same day. I, you know, I could be in Florida very quickly. But the idea is, I can. I also have a very like experienced lens for this. Yeah. Virtual is is good enough for me. Awesome. Right? Awesome. Only question mark is the neighborhood and distance to the beach, which I can rely on your expertise. Exactly. So, yeah. And look at something even on the photos, I'll know. But a virtual with video, I'll really understand what this thing is. Awesome. Awesome. So, I I think it's gonna work yeah. very well. I'll be able to get you a bunch of yeah, different properties. Okay. You know, we'll start with one and go to two, three, four. You know, because I have clients who get multiple yeah. properties. Uh, I have one that just did yeah, six gonna, properties in the last six I'm months. Going, so just let me know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll make it happen, man. And and for the offer process, honestly, it's so easy. It's just a rent spree, credit background eviction report, rental application, proof of income and driver's license. That's literally it. We can put your LLC on there as well. Um, yeah, it's super easy, man. Honestly, it's 35 bucks uh, for the application. And I just copy and paste it. So we could literally apply to like 30, 40, 50, 100 places with one $35 application, you know, because obviously the uh, turnaround rate is kind of low. So maybe one out of every five to 10 owners are going to say yes. So we just want to fire out a bunch that you'd like that actually work for you and then see what sticks. Okay. What's the $35 for? That's the rent spree application. It's a credit background eviction report and rental application and then that's it that's all you do one time and then just send like your proof of income proof of funds proof of income whatever you have in canada sure. send that over just sure. a picture no of your passport yeah. i guess at this point and then i'll fire them out i'll do the contract to lease which is basically the offers you know because we can we can put in over asking price let's say there's a property you must have and they won't say yes unless we do you know 200 bucks over asking price right maybe they would rather rent to a family of four we can do that too yeah well, there's all kinds of strategies for sure exactly uh, i also have my marketing team they're there uh so we have this really nice brochure that talks about what our company does and how it does it and the different models like the property manager model or the leasing model or the profit share model um and because in, in, in Colombia we also do yacht rentals and concierge services so wow. we have one that's geared for Colombia i'm yeah. now having that redesigned and we ran it for a Florida okay. uh, impression. Yeah. Car. So I can send that to you. Send that to me. You can yes. Share it with people. Yes, I they'll love that. that. That goes a long way to build that crypto's credentials. Exactly. You know? Yeah, it's so, going to make you yeah. more credible. Yeah. So yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, let's do that. So and then if you have any like you know sublease addendum that you use now, you can send that over too, and I can you know send that out to the owners as well. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, awesome, man. Yeah, I think it's going to work very well. So yeah, let's keep in touch. Go through those. Send me the properties you like, and we'll go from there. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Andy. I appreciate your time. You're welcome, Sav. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Have All a right. Weekend. All right. You too. Bye. Wow. Okay, guys. Uh, a lot to unpack there. So that was an Airbnb client. So 
He basically wants properties to rent out from the owners, not buy them, and then rent them out on Airbnb. This is called Airbnb arbitrage. I've actually dropped videos on this before, but yeah, this is extremely popular. He's gonna make a good amount of side money. So even if he gets a property for $8,000 and he puts it up there for like $500 a night and he gets it rented out for like, let's just say 22 days or something like that, he's gonna clean up. He's gonna make a few thousand dollars minimum per property every single month. And he wants to rent multiple property so yeah that's Airbnb arbitrage I'm so happy I had a call like that just so you guys can see how I work with Airbnb tenants as well if you have any questions that you want to ask me about this drop them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them let's move on to the next one now so this is actually a text message of somebody that just reached out to me. They said they're college students and their mom's going to be handling it. So I'm going to call the mom right now, which I think is going to be really cool for you guys to see how college students work for rentals. Hello. Hey, it's Andy Coleman with DXP. So I know your son or daughter wants to do a rental. They're college students. Is that correct? Yes, they're, um, they just committed to FAU to play baseball next year. There's three boys. Um, so three college students that play baseball, and they're looking for a place at F it was it FAU. Yes. FAU. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I could definitely help them out. Are they having like a hard time finding a place right now? We are in. I mean, I'm going to be really honest with you. Yeah. We are from a small town in Central Florida. We've owned our home forever, and now he's in a larger city, and the rent is absolutely crazy yeah which i know you're a realtor you yeah. understand that. oh yes better than anybody <laughs> right but um we're just trying to figure this out they all have scholarship money but the problem that we are having is a guarantor like as far as the credit standards and the income okay okay so i can help with this so obviously college students you know it's a little bit more difficult to get them accepted a lot of times they want like a regular family a four you know typically so for college students one out of every five to ten owners are going to say yes so we kind of got to like fire out a bunch of offers to all the properties that work for you and, and see what says yes um so in terms of like how we're putting the offers in like you just mentioned before typically parents would co-sign so would you be willing to co-sign for them well this is the thing i mean we did one application i don't, don't want to just keep putting application yeah. fees in and losing them no 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 we had oh. our name in as a guarantor yet yeah. because he's a senior he's transferring in from another school um and if it's something that works out long term, the boys, the other two, are younger than him. So okay. I was preferring if the other two parents would. I've heard from one, and it's a single mom situation, and she doesn't have the income. We're still waiting to hear from the other parent, which, I mean, I can't believe they're not stressed out about this. Uh. But to see if they want to be a guarantor, we can. But can you kind of break that down for me as far as like how that works? I mean, if it's two thousand dollars a month or twenty five hundred dollars a month, how how does that look? I mean, as far as like income. So okay, it's going to be combined basically. So like, let's just say only two parents want to co-sign. It's just combined income. And do they work at all? Do they have any part time jobs right now? Uh, no, they're no. Oh, okay. So their schedule. I mean, no. That's they fine. Don't have that's yeah. that that that's fine. So basically it would come down to the parents income and then just combine. So if only two of you want to co-sign, you and your husband want to co-sign and let's just say you're both working and then let's say one other parent would do it so that would be three parents technically and then we would combine all three incomes. Okay, this is the thing um too. Like we are business owners. Yeah. So in, on paper his tax returns, I mean it's not a huge income at all honestly but we have seven rentals i don't know how yeah. i mean like for the llc yeah. with the income and statements we have a shit ton of cash in the bank you know but not on paper Do that, you catch what I'm well, well that well no technically that is on paper because you got it in the bank so yeah you can just show bank deposits bank. bank deposits work just fine so if you want to send you know your last three bank statements you know highlighting your deposits that works and then you might only it's have to which is, is we sold two rentals this year i mean over three hundred thousand in the bank yeah so that's fine so if you show that plus deposits you know you would probably only need to be the only person to co-sign you wouldn't have to have even another parent co-sign if they didn't want to we can probably get it done with that 
No problem at all. I'm telling you, the return's not well as far as his hit that part of the income. Yeah. No, the, they understand. The, the owners understand, you know, so that's why they look at the bank statements instead. You know what I mean? So I can definitely explain that, though. So, and I wanted to touch on what you said before about the uh, credit and background report. So you said you ran one before. Was that rent spree by chance? It was not ours. It was the other parent, the guarantor. Mm. But they, I, I think, I don't know if their credit score didn't pass or if it was the income. Okay. That, you know what I mean? Because well, they four times um, no. the monthly income of the rent. No, no, no. So, so yeah, so when we do the private house like this, like they really only want to see around three times. It might even be a little bit less. So yeah, trust me, I get college students accepted all the time. Literally like around this time right now, I'm getting them accepted every single week. So in my opinion, it's very easy to do. Like I said before, it maybe takes around five to 10 properties until one says yes, but one will say yes. Well, you might not have to do the credit background. Only the three boys, the students would have to do them. And then you might just be able to provide proof of income a lot of owners will let that slide we can start there we just run the three reports on the boys because they're the ones living there so the owners want to make sure hey you know they're not troublemakers or anything right. like that you know so we run it on them and then you can provide the proof of income you know for your business for you and your husband and okay. that's it um and honestly it's only 35 bucks per per application that's it and i i can literally use it to apply to as many properties as you want so we can we could fire it out to like 10 20 properties for just 35 dollars per application only one time that's it okay um let's do that let's get started and uh, ideally something i know that i mean we're gonna have to go with whatever but something that's not too too far away yeah. because of you know they're gonna have practice they have class and just something within at least 25 minutes of the campus okay let me set this up right now for you so i know you said 25 minutes of fau do you only want single families um what do you mean Cause uh you know cause they'll, they'll probably have three cars yeah you know, they might have parties and stuff like that so um, yes. single families might be a little bit best single family homes yes okay and we have a budget I mean we do so okay what's the max is around nine hundred a piece so here's what we'll do um we'll go up to three thousand which is a thousand a piece and uh, let's see what's out there for three thousand it's you'll find some decent ones for three grand you know what I mean you I'll be I'll be real you really don't want to go much below three thousand for single families nowadays it's gonna get you know, a little bit hit or miss. Um, so I'm not going to do any minimums though. And square feet, I'll say 1300 minimum. Um, I wouldn't yeah. do anything lower than that. Do they have any pets? No, 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 no pets. If I include townhomes, there's like 90 properties. There's a ton of them. There's a lot. So yeah, this should work just fine. We just got to make sure that the three cars will work, you know? So when I send out offers, I got to let them know, hey, yeah. they have three cars. And I don't know that the Canadian's bringing a car. I think he oh. is, I think there's there might possibly be only two vehicles. So, oh, I mean, it's even that, easier. So for the yeah, yeah, that helps. It's easier. So, um, okay, let me set this up now. What was your name again? Jennifer. Jennifer. Uh, all right, let me set this out to you now. So this is going to be coming from myself, Andy Coleman from Beaches or Flex MLS. So just take a look at those. There's going to be a lot of them, you know, see which ones works for you guys. And when do they need to move by? Um, their start date at school is the 14th of August. Coming up pretty soon. That's about three weeks away. All right. So yeah. So and yeah. Coming up soon. To go to Colorado Wednesday. So I'm like. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. For what, twelve days. What part of Colorado? I have a family out in uh, Boulder in Aurora. So we're going to Boulder. But wow, we're Boulder. In a oh. little um, area south of that. I think it's south. I haven't even really looked. And Nederland. Oh. oh, I'm not not familiar exactly. I just know they live there. But yeah, I'm sure you're gonna have a fun time. So I'll take good care of you guys. You know, I'll make sure this gets done. So yeah, just just check them out there. And then, like I said, I explained the whole application process. Super easy, super cheap, affordable. So I'll make it happen. I'll get them in there by the 14th for sure. We just gotta start like right away. I I suggest yeah. we really get going immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll get, um, you send me all that, and I'll try to get in contact with the other parents and see awesome. what we can get going. If not, we might have to narrow the search down to one. Sure, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you guys want to do. I'm telling you, it, it should be easy enough, you know. Just how I explained it before, we should be able to get it done, no problem. Okay. Text me all the address of the ones you like, and then we'll go from there. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. You have a good weekend. You're very welcome. You too. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Right, all right, so that was college students. Um, and two for two so far on the phone call. So yeah, the I guess the son had texted me before saying talk to their mom. So I just wanted to show you guys what a college student would look like. And those are a little bit more difficult to get accepted. Even the Airbnbs are more difficult to get accepted. So that's my process on getting them accepted. That's how I talk to the leads to convert them to clients. You heard how happy she was. She was super ecstatic that I was gonna help her because she 
he's having a very difficult time right now. So yeah, guys, it's that easy getting leads and getting clients. It's that easy. Literally just pick up the phone, call them, talk to them like a human being, like a friend. And that's it. You have a client, a loyal client. Okay. Let me move on to the next one. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Hey, this is Andy Coleman with EXP Realty. I just saw I had a missed call from you. How are you doing? I was telling in regards to the home in Marsh Harbor. Let me check on that one for you. So, um, what's going on with your situation? How's the credit background and everything? My credit is at like a 580. My background, perfect. No, nothing's on my background. Okay. Um, but, but the credit's a 580, you said? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. What about income? It's three times the rent? Yes, and I'm on Section 8, though. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So you have three times the income plus Section 8. Okay, so, all right. So a Marsh Harbor, I know they have a 650 minimum credit, so that mm-hmm. wouldn't work for that one. But you're in luck, though. I do specialize in rentals. I get about 30 people accepted a month. I can help you out, and I'm actually really good at getting Section 8 Please, in particular accepted. I'm so. in a hotel. I've been staying in a hotel. Let me help you out, then. I'll, I'll get you with a private residence that, you know, no BS no nonsense or anything Please, like that because i am living in the hotel with my kids and i've been here now two months two the months are ridiculous wow okay yeah we got to move quick then we get we got to get you out of that hotel oh my god um Please. okay <laughs> let me, let's waste no time then let me set you, let me get you started right now hold on West Palm, Palm Beach Garden. Um, what do you think? Like maybe like 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 Delray up to Palm Beach Gardens. So now I know you're doing the Section Eight, three bedrooms, four bedrooms. I really would like a four bedroom. Can you? If I have to, I settle for a three. You'll settle for a three. Okay. Have, yeah, because I have a daughter that's expecting. So. Got it. Got it. So what I'll do is I'm going to separate this into two separate searches: one for three, one for four, because they're both going to be different okay. prices for the Section Eight. So, what's your max three bedroom price on Section Eight? I'm not sure. Um, Usually it's like thirty five hundred or so, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. I think it's like two to thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty two. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think it's like thirty two. Do you have any pets? Yeah. No, not that. Okay, that makes it and even I easier. Really want to deal with no HOA. No HO, no HOA for sure. You positive? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say because I could take away the HOAs right now, and then it drops it down from 145 choices down to 65 so, choices. I could do it if you want, though. With the HOAs is There's more properties. more more properties. So up to you. Would prefer to no HOAs. All right, so. we'll do we'll do no HOAs. That's basically gonna be single families and duplexes. So no townhomes, no villas, no apartments, because those are all gonna be HOAs. Oh really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So is that is that still okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me save this right now. So when I took everything away, I mean, there's about. Probably how I start off with it, but yeah. I know cutting it down to no townhomes and stuff. That's really cutting it down to well i'll tell you what why don't we start with this okay there's 40 of them so let's start with these 40 we'll try for these 40 if worst case scenario it's not working out with these right we've we've exhausted all our options then we can go to townhomes does that work That'll work. okay That'll work. all right let me set this up right now i'm going to save this what's your name again my name is Alicia. all right and then what's the best email for you hey that's when i was born too 86 really yeah yeah, this was destiny. It was meant to be. I'm going to help you out. No, I'll, I'll, I'll make this work. I just saved it and I sent it over to you. It's going to be coming from myself, Andy Coleman from Beaches MLS. So look at those. There's about 40 of them. And let me know. Text oh, me. Right. <laughs> text me, text me all the address. You know, once we get off the phone, text me all the addresses of the ones you like. And then listen, so I have a very easy, simple process here. Basically, I just do a rent spree, credit background eviction report, rent application, proof of income, and driver's license. That's literally all I do. You can provide your Section 8 packet, and then I can fire that out to as many properties as you like. Let's say you like all 40 of these. You're like, okay, all 40 of these will do. I can use that one $35 application to apply to every single one of them with just one application. Does that, does that sound easy to you? Damn. So. Yeah, yeah, you should have met me sooner. I would have would have helped you out a lot sooner. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's... I wish because I've been like I said, I've been all the way around. That's why I got with progressive progress, and it was just I wish I wouldn't because now they done they got me out of eight hundred dollars because I had to pay the holding fee, an application fee for me and all my girls because all of them is a pr- pretty much over eighteen, and then. 
now I'm still in hotels paying a thousand dollars every three days. So it's just a madhouse. Wow, that's no good. That's no fun. Yeah, I'll make this much, much easier, much simpler, much cheaper, and we'll get results. Okay. Awesome. I just texted you. Yeah. I just texted you right now, so let me know which ones you like, and then we'll start the application process. We'll start firing awesome. out the offers, and then we'll get you into a place in no time. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Um, you know what? I can set you up directly on Rentspree right now because, you know, you're going to have to do it eventually anyway. So send me over her email address, and I'll send you the applications, and then we can get going there. Just text me all the addresses of the ones you like, and I'll start firing out the offers, and we'll go see the ones that say yes. Okay. Awesome. You're very welcome. We'll have a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you for all your time and help. You're very welcome. All right. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Okay. So that was section eight. Um, I think I did a section eight on one of my last calls and you could see how appreciative she is. That That's all three people were super appreciative um, of my help because they all had unique situations. Not everybody is going to be perfect credit, you know, perfect backgrounds. Not everybody's going to be perfect. So as a realtor, you know, our jobs are to help everybody because a lot of people need help and most realtors don't want to do rentals. There's a gap in the market for renters agents. So yeah, if you guys are struggling right now, you know, you can't do a lot of business as a real estate agent, try doing rentals. They're so easy to do. You just saw me do three calls in a row, three clients. One of them wanted to do an Airbnb at like seven, $8,000 per month. I make over four grand commission if they do an $8,000 place and he wants multiple. That's a lot of commission for a realtor just doing rentals. The next one was college students at three grand. You know, I'm going to do about half a month's rent commission on that. That's 1500 bucks. Plus I always charge a little transaction fee. The next one, section eight, same thing. I mean, come on, you know, three calls and potentially that could be around $10,000 in commission mission if I get all three of them a place possibly even more because the Airbnb wants to do multiple properties. So yeah, guys, this is child's play. This is so easy and you're helping people and you're helping yourself. It's a win, win, win for everybody. And you're helping landlords get tenants in places. I mean, you're just helping so much by working with renters. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed and liked these calls. If you did drop a comment below, let me know if you want me to keep doing them. Maybe next time I'll try to do like high credit people, I guess, <laughs> um, to show you how those work, which is even easier technically. So yeah, guys, smash a like button, drop a comment below, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one. All right, that's it. I'm out.